Love that. Okay, let's love you, Sue. I know I'm looking kooky. Okay, so we're going to start with our 249 brush and constructivist paint pot. I didn't use anything on my lid prior because I usually don't have problems with my lid creasing with paint pots. So if you have a history of creasing, use your Too Faced, your UVPP, L'Oreal, whatever, the crease or whatever you like, concealer. Just use your favorite base. But I'm using um, my Constructivist Paint Pot as my primer as well as acting as a sticky type base. Okay? And so now I will be using Dark Soul Pigment and it's a MAC pigment. If you have a black eyeshadow that's semi matte with a little iridescent like um, flex in it or something that just have a little, just a little, not sh really so much like shimmer shimmer but just a little bit more matte with a hint of uh to it. Or uh, you can just do the old fashioned matte, just all matte. So basically I'm using my 217 only because it's clean. So, if if you will, use a flat brush because you guys know when dealing with pigments, you got to be real careful. Um, and I make sure I tapped off any assets off my brush because, again, I was using a 217 and I wanted to be real careful not to get fallout everywhere. And, or, you know, just do the old-fashioned trick. Put loose um, powder under your eyes. I am so out of a lot of my face products, you guys, because I've been trying to invest in new stuff, uh, switch it up. So I'm pulling out my old fashioned shady. Love it. Probably don't use it or bought it five or six times in the past. Um, probably two times before YouTube. And I'm just taking that dark part of shady, going in and out when she wipe emotion. Uh, just pretty much my crease and my outer V. And now I'm going to take the neutral palette from Coastal Scents, BH Cosmetics, eBay, wherever you want to get it from. And I'm using like an orangey matte type brown that's in there. And I'm pretty much um, pretty much blending it uh, in my crease. Like pretty much like the top of my crease with your wiper motion again just to transition into my brow light um, okay so I am going to use Truco I think it's, yeah Truco and it's uh, eye color in Lustre I don't think Sephora sell any products anymore but I look like I remember seeing it on Amazon or maybe eBay or something like that and this one is pretty much in a neutral zone. It's one of those champagne-y type uh, colors with just like a hint of sheen to it. It's it's not matte and it's not glittery. It's just got like a little hint of sheen to it. If you've got a Rainer, use a Rainer. Or whatever favorite brow light you have that's close to the flesh tone. You can even use like your MSF. Give you a pretty nice brow light half the time. I'm using engraved eyeliner. Um, it's a MAC eyeliner. And this pretty much has like a creamy texture. So I'm lining my waterline as well as my lower lash line just a little bit. Just a little bit. And uh, I'm using my MAC Puff only because you guys know like I don't need any more eye trauma. I don't need to pull into it on my eye anymore any less than I have to. Um, now I am using a BH Cosmetics Small Angle Brush and I am setting my liner with Dark Soul Pigment. Um, I actually took a little bit of my Shady Duo and with a little bit under there kind of to give it like an airbrush phase effect and blended it out. Um, which I don't think I showed on camera, got to show on camera. So that is what I did there. Now, um, I'm using my handy dandy puff again. And like I said, I just use it to not tug, and, you know, to try to give me a guide not to tug and pull on my eye and kind of give me something to lean on. But also, it's good to use, like, if you don't want to transfer your foundation 
for your um, makeup. In this case, I didn't have any foundation on uh, whatsoever. <laughs> no foundation, no concealer on. But if you got a foundation concealer, it's a good way to keep from transferring your uh, makeup, getting your makeup, you know, wearing your makeup off before you even get done doing your eyeshadow. Um, so I'm using Wet n Wild liner to my upper lash line, and I haven't used it in a while. I get so nervous when I use liquid liner, especially when you like do a look and you're like, oh my god, I love it. You kind of like the look, you're like, I'm feeling it, it's good. And then you get a liner and then you freak it up. You're like, oh, because of the liner. Oh, because of the liner. Chris for a top. And as you see, I'm pulling out uh, Revlon Soft Nude. And I'm kind of like, don't laugh how I'm putting it on. But it's just an old-fashioned habit that I got from back in the day. You remember we used to line our lips dark and then try to highlight the middle. But back then, we didn't know it was highlighting contouring the lips. We thought it was just hooking up some. You know what I'm saying? So I have a chestnut liner from MAC on. And again, I have, I'm have i putting on soft, soft nude from Revlon. Very cheap, very affordable. Not going to lie, when everybody was raving about it and I got it, I was like, I don't like it. Because I put it on and it looked like a Babylon coochie. Like it was like too muted out. And then I tried different liners and I was like, still. But um, I really like this actual combo all together. So I'm going to dab on a little MAC lip glass, the clear one, the goopy one, but you know what, it's not, it's something about it that when you first put it on, it's just a little hint of goop, but then once you pat it on, it's no more goop, no problem, like, no goop, it's kind of weird, but kind of good, <laughs> so, you know, pat, 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 and blending, kind of feathering that liner, inward yeah yes yeah, nothing like your fingers guys yeah nothing like your fingers okay make sure we don't have that jewel look look okay check it mm -hmm. check it check one check two okay now busting out the purr purr minerals up here depends on how you want to call it and I am trying to make my skin looks like it's pretty like it did back in the day you know back in the day back in the day is like five years ago <laughs> so I'm um, kinda working with it working with it working with it working with it um, I'm using a flat top chisel brush from Coastal Scent by the way just case somebody had but you guys Chew them over spray. Some spritz in my face because I'm going to really just get to it. Um, as you guys know, I have hyperpigmentation. And that particular cheek, uh, I know that it, it goes away and comes right back. I don't care what I use. It comes right back. And, but I, I've kind of been cheating. I haven't been putting anything on my skin as far as taking care of it lately. And I... Definitely haven't been putting on sunblock, so there's a big one. Um, and I know I fuss about it. I need sunblock. I just, the last couple ones I bought, I just didn't like that shimmering stuff in it. It's like, ugh. <laughs> so, we trying to beat that away. Beat it away. Be the way. Be the way, be the way. You know what? If I had been using another brush, I wouldn't have to do all that work. That brush there is extremely soft, but it kind of don't rip enough product. And another thing is, like, when I wet that brush, it smells like weird. I was going to say it smells like a skunk or something, but I don't know what a skunk smells like. It smells kind of weird to me, I ain't going to lie. So, right now you see me kind of stippling certain areas that, um trouble areas like you now I'm looking I'm lost okay okay so this is a Dose Vita blush and I'm gonna actually use it in my contour area since it's a matte blush with a little deepness to it I'm gonna use it in my contour area kinda of the high uh, cheekbone area you know just in the contour area 
Um, I fell in love with Dulce Vita Blush. I think Atia and a few other people raved about it, but one zealous one mentioned getting it. Um, I think I was talking about something on the blog, and she was she mentioned um, the Dulce Vita, and I got it for my birthday last year, and I used the heck out of it. Like I wore it every day, and look at it. You see how it looks? It looks like no dent in it. NARS blushes are pretty pricey, but you don't need much, and they're so worth the money. Once you find the colors that you really like, they're so worth the money. Like, if you can play and swatch, play and swatch your butt off, because you're eventually going to find something that you like, and you're going to stick to it. Uh, for me, I have to order offline, so when I hit that one, I was real happy. It took... Mm, my first two NARS blushes... They were pretty, but I didn't love them. Uh, the two I have now, I absolutely love. So now I'm putting the Love Joy by NARS on my cheeks. I'm sorry, I just got the towel. So now I'm pulling out my um, Solar Rich Bronzer. And I'm going to actually use it to highlight right up under my eye area, right up, yeah, in the high parts of my cheek, upper cheekbone. Yeah, right up under the eye to the high cheeks. Yeah. You know how it go. You've been doing it, Diva. Get it, girl. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, girl. I do apologize for the mess. My hair is like I pulled it all back. Pull it back. And, um, and here's some little shots of it all. So, as you can see, you can kind of, it's one of those looks that you can really wear and get away with in the daytime and bring it off into the evening. I didn't I didn't go so deep and so dark and you know and with brown eyes it brings them out, makes them pop. Um yeah. I use uh loft, lofty brown mascara from Mac and that's it. This is 